welcome back to Vlogmas. We are in bed doing lists, lists and admin stuff for Christmas Day. We've got a whole plate of yesterday's biscotti. We're having a teddy bear's picnic in bed. And we are making lists for what we need to get for Christmas Day, for presents. Um, we also, we could maybe make today our organisation day. Do you want to do that? Well, I am organising today, yeah. Yeah, so we could do all the cupboards. Um, yeah, I've got some, some stuff. Because if we do it today, anything we need to throw out can go with rubbish to go tomorrow. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh. Organisation day. Did you really just yeah. say Al? Yeah, just so, um, today is actually, it's now getting on to the evening, it's almost dark outside, but it's kind of like a life admin day, so I'm still in my pyjamas. I have showered, I need to get myself into some nice pyjamas so that I'm like comfortable. It's going to be a bit of a self-care day, so I'm going to put on a mask in my hair tonight. I've got a Kerastase mask that I've been using, so I'm going to put that on my hair, on my body, I'm going to put the Espaspa restorative oil. This is something that I use whenever I'm just having a bit of a self-care day. Lots of people always ask, how do I use this with tan? I basically use this the night before I'm going to re-tan and all of my tan is coming off because oil actually breaks down tan, so it helps a little bit and it's just can't use it all the time, which makes it a little bit of a treat if you're a fake tanner. So I use this the day before I'm gonna tan, or the night before. Wash it off in the morning, like use lots of soap to wash it off, and then apply my tan. So that's how I do it, because I actually couldn't live without using this all the time. It is just the loveliest product. Oh, it smells so good. So I'm gonna slather myself in this, get myself into a comfortable state. We are going to organize everything. So basically what we've been doing today is making lists like Christmas lists, I've already ordered two Christmas presents, one for my grandma, one for my nonna and nonna. We've ordered other Christmas presents, we've set out the things that we need to buy for Christmas. We've also sent out invites for our New Year's Eve party, which is exciting. So we're really sort of trying to get on top of things. We're going to organise the back bedroom so that they're ready to go for Christmas and New Year's because we always have people stay over here. We need to have a big sort of like declutter. So that's what our night is gonna be spent doing. So I thought I would take you with me for this. I have to declutter all of my toiletries. They've just taken on a life of their own. So I'm gonna get rid of all of like my old products, maybe products I don't use anymore. Have a big clear out, get that ready. Have a clear out of my new in cupboard as well of, of the things that I don't use. We're gonna clear out the bedrooms, like I said, and get everything organized, which is good, it's productive, and this is how I like to be. And this to me is like a self-care day, basically, so I kind of treat it in line with like pampering myself, but getting organized, it's not something I have a lot of time for. So when we get a time and a day where we're like, actually, this could be really well spent, that's what we're gonna do. So that is my plan. Layer of this, I think I'll do the mask before I go to bed, because it's just easier that way. And then I will put some jams on, cozy clothes, probably some slippers, and crack on. Because cracking on is apparently what I've been saying a lot this Vlogmas, so cracking on, and all that jazz. <laughs> right, clean dressing gown and pyjamas are on. Layer of this, I've used quite a bit of it, I've really, really put it on thick this time. I'm also, instead of putting a hair mask on now, I'm gonna put some oils in my hair, just to be doing something, and then hopefully it will hide all of like my flyaway bits that keep falling out, and just to keep it off my face as well, and get it nourished, and I'm gonna find some cozy socks, because I really need some cozy socks. I am now full on slippery, like literally, hair looks like matted, but I've just put some pure almond oil on, and left that up, so it's all nice and oily gonna get some nourishment in there. I'm gonna pop you down over here and I'm going to start sorting out my skincare drawers. I have to do this all the time because everything just gets, it just gets so, I don't know what the word is, full all the time because there's so many new releases. So I'm having a real big declutter because I'm not a hoarder of skincare in any way, shape or form. These three drawers and what's on my vanity is all the skincare that I allow myself to have. That's a lot of skincare for one person, but I just, I physically cannot have too much because I use so many of the same products over and over again that it becomes pointless. So I will keep stock of items, but yeah, sometimes I see something and I'm like, oh, I wanna try that again, or I wanna try that because it's new, and it would just sit there. So that's what we're doing. We are sorting things out to go to new homes. 
I've just found a new Espa Spa Bergamot and Jasmine body wash. So that's going straight in my shower. This is the thing, I just use what's up there and I never look at these drawers. And so I have to have a system where I'm looking at these drawers more because otherwise these products, I'm not finding new products and it's really infuriating and I love trying new things. So yeah. Na -na! Did it all by myself? <laughs> <laughs> you're not going to see, when you, when you edit this, you're going to laugh so much. I'm currently covered in a layer from head to toe of oil. I, I mean, I can see it. <laughs> you're glistening. I've got your um, almond oil on my hair, and then I did a layer of the um, Estes Bar restorative oil. I'm having a self-care day. You're a seal. I am. <laughs> I am. You're a slippery oh. seal. But yeah, I'm getting organised. I love that you do little piles for people. Well, that's for Nonna. Nonna. Because I've got that 50 million. When am I coming to Nonna's? Uh, when are we going to go to Nonna's? I don't know. I haven't seen her since your wedding. Mm -hmm. And that makes me sad. Mm -hmm. When are you not gallivanting around the world? For once, it's me, not you. Yeah. <laughs> After next weekend, I'm home. Come on, do your pickings. Okay. Right, so. We have, oh my God, this drawer is now sort of everyday stuff that I use, but really streamlined. Then in here, wow, we've really got that down. Eye creams, retinols, lip balms. I love a lip balm. And then we have toothpaste here and lady bits and things like that. And in the bottom one, we have creams, we have cleansers, we have travel products, we have masks, and we have beauty tooly things in there. Up on here, we've got some skin bits and bobs that I use, some whitening strips, some retinols, got some Luna there, some Lano, some Esper, some Darfan, some Demamiel, we've got it all. We've got, oh, we've got a cheese knife as well, apparently. Bag to go upstairs, bag to give away. This stresses me out a lot. I can't handle having this cupboard full because I don't know what's in there, nothing gets used. So I'm gonna have a big old clear out of this as well, feeding anything that I want to try and pass anything else on to other people, but there is a lot of stuff in here that needs to go. Ali's back and I've done my dressing room, that's all sorted. We're making a pile of gifts there. We are making a pile of sort of stuff here. We need to find a home for all our board games, some books, more gifts, stuff to go in the loft, and basically our ideal kind of thing to happen would be that we get the house ready for Christmas and New Year's now. But we might not do that, but still. You've already done the top floor. Yep. And we can work through the guest bedrooms or whatever. This one's sorted. Yeah, is there anything in here that we can just put in the loft? It's always carnage before it gets better. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. How did we get so much stuff? <laughs> so we are in the basement right now, in the room of doom, sorting out all of the stuff that we're selling. Oh my god, we can actually see this bathroom. <laughs> and we found these old trunks that we had from our old house and we haven't opened them. They've obviously been in here like since we got here. Oh, you know what these were for? What? 300k on... Oh yeah, when I hit 300k. YouTube? Yeah, oh my I god. Did a three, I did a 300 in candles. Yeah, on, on the um, TV unit. I thought you were going to hit 3 million. I was like, oh, 300 I have candles left over. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, get those winter candles out. Oh my god, there's Joe Malone candles in there as well. I need to have a huge hand candle clear out. I've got so many candles. What's that one? These, so we must have lit these at the old house and thought, right, we'll take those over yeah. here burn them and then never open this up. Yeah, but we need to get these winter ones out and get them Ooh, burning. Oh, look at that. That's yes, fresh. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Two. Three, that one's winter as well, that big one. And a lighter. And, a lighter. and my ring sizer that you kept asking me where it was. Wow, <laughs> because I needed more candles. Good, good. Oh, we'll get those burning on Christmas day. This wraps up well. Oh my god, they're all my oils. <gasps> oh my gosh. How much leakage? White Company Winter. Oh winter. my oh my gosh. 
<gasps> oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oh my god, what's in here? Whoa. Oh my god, no. It will be my Valentine. No, my horrible flowers. No. Nice slippers. So when we actually uh, we could keep those for guests. Yeah. They have a bit of a manky colour on them. No, they're grey. Well, what trip down memory lane? You have to empty this one out. Good evening, Lummy. Excitable as always. Good to see. Good evening, everyone. Oh my gosh, it's so dark down here. So I'm carrying on from yesterday's vlog because obviously we got fully into the clearing out process um, and it was so, so good. So I'll show you where we got to. I'll show you my beauty cupboard and where I'm at with that. I'll also show you the back bedroom. I've got the candle that I uh, found yesterday, my big white company one, that's all lit. The sun is setting and it is quarter to four. Like in England, it is just insane, but the sky, can you see that? Let's have a look. Look, it's all pink, but then over here it's like blue. It's so bizarre, but it looks lovely. I'm being summoned upstairs by my husband, so let's go see what he wants. What are you calling me for? You come and take a look. Oh no, what have you been doing? <gasps> oh my gosh. <laughs> Are you having a New Year's Eve party yeah, in here? Yeah, yeah. Well. Fun, fun when he comes and works with me. <laughs> wow. Good, huh? Have fun clearing all of this up. Is this for an IGTV? Mm. Cool. So this is what we're going for. This is Cal. <laughs> Nailed it. This is me, <laughs> killed it, in a bad way. <laughs> this is Lydia. Right, what I do is I count you in, three, two, one, and when I say one, that's when you start, okay? okay? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> that is so Right, well, you ready? You focus on the phone? <laughs> is it bad? Ready? I feel like my face was funny. Yeah, it was definitely funny. I really, I feel like I went, Oh, it's cool actually. That is good. That's pretty cool. Oh, you nailed the pose. Mm. That's quite nice. Like that? Yeah. And he dressed <laughs> to fit. Yeah, I'll, I'll, one more, one more then. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Three, two, one. <laughs> Did you see my leg? <laughs> So I've got some things on here which are Christmas gifts and here I've like curated my sister's gifts for her. I found this Laura Mercier gift and because I don't really have baths, it never really was something that I use. But this is such, I don't know if they still do this, you know. How wonderful is this? And it's such a little pamper product, but I just don't have baths. So I think I'm gonna give that to someone this year. And then we also picked up these two fragrances from Jean Paul Gaultier that we really, really liked. So we're gonna give those to someone for Christmas this year as well. This is where we're at with my beauty cupboard so far. So it's much better. I like having clearer shelves. So I've got some fragrances down here and up there. Then I've got hair care. I've got makeup on this one, a little bit of body care. And then this is like other bits and bobs down at the bottom, but looking much, much better. Look how many by Terry CC serums I have, by the way. My friend messaged me. These are all full as well. These all. And I also have, look how many of the CC powders I have in stock because it's obviously limited edition and I don't ever want to run out of it, so I've got these as well. But yeah, my friend messaged me, she was like, I just tried to pick up the By Terry CC Serum in Sunny Flash and it's all sold out, I'm blaming you. And I was like, well, my stock pile would probably suggest it is my fault. So let me know when you're back and I will give you one. So I'm holding one of those for her as well. We've also got some Le Bouton Beauty in, which you know I'm a huge fan of. Their mascara is one of the best mascaras in the business. I've got some Huda Beauty bits to try. Lots of air in body care, amber musk in stock. I've also got some Armani C, some NPDs that I can't show you, some air in as usual. But yeah, so it's all looking a lot better in there, but I just need to take these. Oh, I also got the new By Terry Christmas collection as well. I've got some of them on here because I took some products that I found that I wanted to try. So I used this Starlight Rose Youth Glow Elixir. Absolutely stunning, really, really beautiful. Kind of similar to the, the Tata Harper Illuminating Moisturizer, but really, really beautiful. I put some new palettes on here. So I've got the new Dior 
eye palette. You know I love Dior eye palettes. And then I've got the, the nude medium from Huda Beauty palette as well. More of the By Terry Starlight Rose collection. And also the Olaplex Bonding Oil. I popped that. Oh, and the Dior Backstage Face and Body Glow. Stunning. So I've got some bits on there. I also had this little package arrived from By Terry, which is like a little makeup box. So I thought I'd give this a try for my makeup at the moment and it's all in there nicely. But that is where we are at with dressing rooms. I need to put my rings on today as well. I've just got changed into my cozy clothes for reflexology later and I've put on the hoodie that one of my subscribers bought me to my meetup the other day that's got my logo on it. It is so soft and fluffy on the inside. This is perfect. I think I found my reflexology uniform. I've just got a pair of leggings on and some cashmere socks and then I will put on some boots. Sorry if you can hear rustling in the hallway, that would be Ali rustling with some of his props. But yeah, so I'm nice and cozy and warm and ready to go. I'm going a little bit earlier this evening, but I will show you more of what we did around the house yesterday evening when I get back. And hopefully, because it's Friday, <gasps> It's actually Friday. I, I didn't even realize it was Friday. I might actually get to have like a gin and tonic or a glass of wine or something because my weekend is quite chilled. I'm not sure what I'm getting up to tomorrow and I get to go and meet my baby niece, my new baby niece on Sunday. Wow. Yeah, how cool is this, huh? Yeah. See how soft and snuggly it is on the inside? Oh yeah. <laughs> Grab my boob. <laughs> how nice is this? And it's nude. It's lovely. I, lo I like it. Yeah, it's actually feel how soft it is inside. It <laughs> not feel my boob. Yeah, it's nice. That's so cute that it's on the back as well though, isn't it? Right, back in the car again. Start the engine, always helpful. Oh, there is a spider in my car and I am about to smush it. Oh, I smushed it! Ugh, it's been the one that's been making webs in my bloody car. It was little one though, thank goodness. Okay, right. <laughs> Fabulous start. So it's not quite as cold today. We're actually nine degrees, so it's not freezing, which is quite nice. I am heading to my reflexology appointment, which I've got to the point now where I'm actually like, I look forward to it. It's like such a nice little ritual to put on my cozy clothes after work and head there and just relax. I get a hot water bottle and it's great. The only thing I find, <laughs> the only thing I find is that I fall asleep every single time, which is lovely, but then I come home and it means that I, I'm not tired when I'm usually tired and I'm the type of person, I just thought I was driving without my lights on. I'm the type of person that I can only go to sleep when I'm absolutely shattered. So yeah, but it's it's totally worth it. Totally, totally worth it. It's like one of those things where it's like, oh, it kind of messes with my schedule a little bit, but it's totally worth it. And it just feels great to be taking a little bit of better care of myself and actually scheduling something regular in that's like on my terms. I'm actually buying Ali a course for himself just as one of his little stocking fillers and I'm gonna buy that for him today, see how he gets on because I just, I've really, really liked it and um, just really enjoyed it. And she's just so lovely as well. So I still need to blooming look at the ginger shot recipe that she's given me because I need to start doing that in the morning because I've got such a good little ritual with my vitamins now in the morning that I need to I need to do that so when I get home that's my homework before I show you what else we got up to I will um sort out my ginger shot now turn right and like a butterfly she emerges from her chrysalis literally out for the count again. <laughs> oh, I, feel, I feel brilliant. I feel brilliant. Now I'm gonna go home, eat some good food, snuggle with my husband and my meow ma. Oh, I have just got home and pushed my video live. I got confused. I was like, is it day six? Is it day seven? I have no idea. Putting some cozy socks on after my reflexology treatment and I did just knee myself in the chin, by the way, if you missed that. Um, I'm gonna go and check on Ali, see what he's doing. I think he's working late tonight. So I'm gonna make us a quick, what is that in my sock? It is my sock, inside my sock. <laughs> um, I'm gonna go and make us some dinner um, and see if he, oh, hello, Lamy. You little princess. 
waddling away. Yeah, I'm going to make us some dinner and see what time he thinks he'll be finished in case we have time to sit on the sofa, have a snuggle in front of the fire because basically that is what Vlogmas is this year. Pretty much. Although next week is quite busy. I've got quite a lot on next week. Feeling good. Feeling rejuvenated after my... We've had a little nap. It was good. What are you looking at? Hey? What are you looking at? What are you looking at? You want some food? <laughs> oh, you do want some food. How much do you want some food? <laughs> My little sausage genie. Little sausage genie. You are a sausage, a sausage genie. You want different food, don't you, you bougie blumming babe? Come on then. <laughs> I pulled your tail. I pulled your tail. <laughs> this is the thing that she does. She takes her food out of the bowl and then eats it everywhere around it but in the bowl. I'll get you some. What are you doing? Working. How long do you think you'll be working? Oh, oh is this the out of the barber's one from Maison? Oh, it smells nice, doesn't it smell like barber's? <laughs> mm -hmm. um, how long do you think you'll be working for? I'm going to make some dinner. Um, yeah, yeah, but I'm going to make a stir fry. Oh, yeah. Or do you think you'll have time to sit in front of the fire this evening? You've got lots to do? I have to get this video. But can you try and get it done? Oh yeah, oh, babe, I don't want to be sitting here. When it's do you think you'll be done? When do you think you'll be done? I'm, I'm not even halfway through. Okay. There's lots to do. Babe, come here. No. Yeah. No, I'm a neglected wife. <laughs> What? You got, what? You got this one. What have I got on me? What is it? An eyelash. Make a wish. <laughs> God, I'm looking a bit glowy today, aren't I? That is the Alpha H and the Luna. I'm going to make stir fry. <laughs> oh, you don't have any peppers. What has exploded in the fridge? Oh, my Diet Coke. Wow, I've never seen that before. Wow. I thought I heard a bang earlier. I actually can't believe you. That's so cool. That's not cool! Hmm. <laughs> not Coke. Love me. <laughs> I hope you're going to clear that up. Wait, how long was it in there? What? How long did you leave that like Diet Coke in there? Why has everything got the evidence? <laughs> <laughs> He's currently cleaning out the freezer because he left it in there for a whole day. Well, nearly two, yeah, a whole 24 hours. 24 hours. I, um... Dear me. I thought, oh, I could do the Diet Coke. I know what I'll do. I'll quickly stick, because well, there was none in the fridge, I'll quickly stick one in the freezer, cool it down so it'll be nice and cold. Come back in 10 minutes. Well, of course, my memory doesn't last 10 minutes. No, it doesn't. Someone's going to go, oh my God, he didn't do it like that, did he? That's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, mummy. So whilst he's cleaning that out. I'm doing the stir fry with sweet potato, which I've never done before, and I don't know if it'll taste nice, but that's what we're going with, because that's all we've got. Some 
important with freezers to make sure you don't leave any residue in, in there because that will turn the ice, you see. You and see? It might affect the seal, so just give it a nice dry down after you've got rid of your Diet Coke. <laughs> Something tells me that most people don't. Babe, it has happened many a times and probably probably with beer. We didn't realise that gin didn't smash in freezers because somebody knew it, it was somebody left in there by accident and they got away with it and they're like, oh, hang on a minute. Oh, hang on a minute. That's a freeze. All great things in life are learnt by accident. We need a new potato peeler. Even some of you watching this. <laughs> Good guy, Lamy, very festive. Where is she? In the Christmas tree. <laughs> oh, lovely. The most expensive decoration over there. <laughs> Lydia and Carrie don't intend on drinking a lot of gin. <laughs> I might have one tonight. I might also have a detox tea instead because I've drank a lot this week. I'm going to have a detox tea tonight. Okay, so that means no drinks for Lydia. So I thought I would show you the progress that we made yesterday. I still need to like hoover and clean in this room, but we're still moving some stuff out. This is the light that's going up in the kitchen. That should be going up in a few weeks time. I've also got these cushions randomly thrown on the bed. You go in the cupboard. <laughs> um, we've started putting Christmas uh, presents and stuff in here. So uh, this is like a little pile where we we'll do some uh, wrapping and stuff in here. Um, the lamps are up. These are the ones I ordered from Coach House, but were delivered without the lamps. They are huge, but I feel like they balance with the bed well. Maybe not so much with the side tables, but I really can't be asked because these side tables are perfect. I don't care. This is going to be the guest bedroom for Ali's brother at Christmas. Um, we've also got these two paintings, one of which I think I'm going to put there because I feel like it will work really nicely on that wall. Um, I don't know about the other one though. I'm not sure. This wall like needs something, but I haven't worked out what that is yet. Maybe it's a mirror. I don't know. I do have a mirror downstairs. We shall see. Um, so yeah, we've managed to clear this room. So both guest bedrooms are good to go. Now we're trying to sort the house for like New Year's, which is pretty much almost done. All we really need to do is uh, clear the bathroom downstairs which just currently has um hello stinker bell uh, which currently has some furniture that i'm selling because i'm always selling furniture also we got a update on the last bit of furniture that is supposed to be coming for the secret project and they were like mm, it's going to be a week later than we told you it was going to be i was like no mm -mm. no everyone else is delivered on time you don't get to let me down like that so I have um, sent an email back. Let's just like, guys, please don't d don't do this to me. I just don't need this stress. You said this date. Let's just let's just stick to the date. So we're waiting here back on that. Um, what else did we get up to? I've lit all my candles, all of the lovely candles. Although this one, I think this is why you don't leave a winter company winter winter company white company winter candle for two years in a box because it leaks. They've never ever leaked like this before, but actually this is quite satisfying, so. Huh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. When it comes off in a big bit. Oh yes. That was pretty darn snazzy. So yeah, the last bit to be done in here is just the new light, and we're gonna be selling this one, but candles are lit, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna calmly me down, I'm gonna light the fire and snuggle down, because actually there is a program that I wanted to watch that was on channel four, I think, so I'm gonna crack on with that. I also don't know if I um, have already told you this, but um, if I have, Carrie, please cut it out, <laughs> because I feel like I'm going over myself today because I started vlogging and then I watched the beginning of the vlog and I was like, no, 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 we need to piece this together better. I had a look in the cupboard, my candle cupboard in the utility room and I was actually, hello, Stinkerbell. Um, I was actually just a little bit annoyed at myself because I, I don't know if you remember, but well, I used to really, well, I still do. I really love candles. I love candles so much that I treat them like they're like, you know, just the most precious things on earth. And I never burn them. I just burn like cheap candles and I need to get out of this habit. 
like reed diffusers as well. I think that reed diffusers are like gold dust and if I use one I'll never have another one again. I need to stop doing this because I am such a hoarder of candles. That's the only thing that I hoard and it's ridiculous. So my New Year's resolution is to burn candles and I'm starting with this one, this one from Neom. I have had this for so long, it is ridiculous and I never burn it. So I put it in here because it's lovely. It was a collaboration with Jenny Packham and I love it. I love neon candles, but this just needs to be appreciated and used. There we go. Oh, I thought I was gonna have to set the fire up, but it looks like my lovely husband has done it all for me. So I'm just gonna have to light it. Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Good girl. Like that. It's all the way. Oh.